Greetings and welcome to the Beat the Boss series. This time we're going to cover the Shadow Tree Avatar. Someone must extinguish thy flame. Let it be. Elden Ring DSC. The boss can be found in the Shadow View area of Shadow Keep. To be able to get there, you have to reach the Church District. From the Storehouse Back Section Grace, take the elevator down to the Church District. After passing the flooded bridge, go to the right in the hallway. Follow the way to another exit that is on your immediate right. Go over this bridge here and deal with the enemies. Right after, head up the stairs and then go up the ladder to reach a mechanism that drains all the water from the district. Now hop down and turn around. Face the doorway and take another drop onto the bottom level. Right outside, stick to the right and activate another grace. Continue further ahead and go to the tree in the little sanctum on your left. An ulcerated tree spirit will spawn in here. Defeat him and claim the Mantle of Thorns incantation. After beating him, continue past the tree into a little cathedral. Be with the enemies here too and take the exit on the northern side. Walk all the way to the end and down a little set of stairs to open a door. Pass through and take the elevator down. Once at the bottom, follow the way to a chapel. Pass down on the side of the statue to find another room with a grace. Activate it and pass through the door to face the Shadow Tree Avatar. By defeating him, you receive 260,000 runes and the remembrance of the Shadow Sunflower, as well as Mikela's Great Rune. He is resistant to magic and holy, immune to bleed, and especially weak to strike, fire, and frostbite. Since knowledge is power, let's break down the most important abilities and how to deal with them. Ability number one is a ground AoE. The boss will plunge its arm into the floor and conjure vines that damage you and build up bleed. You can wait to dodge roll over it or roll through the boss to evade it. Ability number two is another attack that conjures vines. The boss will take two swings and conjure those vines with each swing. They travel a long distance, so outranging them is impossible. You can simply roll over the vines before they reach you. Ability number three is a free hit combo. A whirlwind with two instances and an overhead slam that conjures vines. Roll sideways, wait a second for the second part and dodge over it. After, walk towards the boss and roll towards him to dodge the overhead slam and the erupting vines. Ability number 4 is an ability exclusive to phase 3. He will charge energy in his body and cause a huge explosion. When you see the animation, start and wait until the middle part of the body is completely covered by light. Then roll forward through the explosion. Ability number 5 is a projectile attack. He will summon projectiles that will slowly travel towards you. Wait until they are closed and roll sideways twice to dodge them. Ability number 6 is an ability that he uses at the beginning of phase 2. He will charge through the arena three times. You can dodge this with well time dodges to the side. Ability number seven is a slam that functions as a grab attack. You can dodge this with a roll to the side. With all the important abilities covered, let's see how to beat this boss.
And that's how you beat the Shadow Tree Avatar. If the video was helpful, leave a like and subscribe for more boss guides, and I'll see you in the next one.